At the University of British Columbia's Department of Forestry, the research team here has developed a new kind of packaging foam. Eventually, we want the planet is free of those petroleum-based non-degradable foam. Dr. Feng Zhang says packaging material like styrofoam makes up 30 percent of global landfills and can take more than 500 years to break down. We will enter into the food chain after the, after they become microplastic in the fish, in the oysters, and all the all the aquatic animals as well as the table salt. Researcher Dr. Yuling Zhu is making a sample of biofoam. He is taking wood chips from lumber damaged by forest fires and pine beetles. The chips are then blended with a foaming agent which injects air into their patent mixture and then poured into a tray. After the wood chips are blended, it is put into this oven and baked for two to three hours at 80 degrees Celsius. The scientists here say it doesn't take a lot of energy to make this product. UBC is working in partnership with Wet'suwet'en First Nation. They are providing raw materials from their forests located near Burns Lake, B.C. for their research. For us, it's doing our part to, you know, take care of Mother Earth. Reg Ogan says this partnership with UBC creates a space for reconciliation. I really think it opens the doors for... Uh, other Indigenous groups in BC and Canada start reaching out to the universities and find ways to, you know, better our communities and our provinces and Canada as a whole. I think there's lots of room for that. The research team says that biofoam will cut down on pollution and it could be very profitable. It's cheaper to make the biofoam, so the cost of producing this biofoam is about one-fifth of the selling price of the styrofoam. He says he hopes they can start manufacturing next year. Biofoam can move into production. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.